On a chilly and damp night in South Florida, Dalton Stadium will host some of the top high school talent in the state, perhaps in the country. The 2006 FHSAA football finals for the third straight year in Class 5A. It's St. Thomas Aquinas of Fort Lauderdale facing the Dreadnoughts from Lakeland High School. 30 years in Fort Lauderdale. His 10th finals appearance tonight, and that is a new state record. But he's three and six in those championship game appearances. Three of those losses against Lakeland High School. For Carroll and the Raiders of St. Thomas Aquinas. Out of a shotgun, he gives it to the short back. There's a fumble. Lakeland's on it. Still waiting for a signal from the referees. There's a flag on the play, so hold on a moment. And it looks like now they're going to give it to Lakeland. <laughs> Rod Smart. Jamar Taylor. It's a big lick there from Major Wright. They were on the left side at left guard and left tackle. Third and three, sixth play of the drive. Here's Rainey with a big hole to the left side. Touchdown, Lakeland. Chris Rainey gets into the end zone for the 27th time this season. And the Dreadnoughts take a 6-0 lead. Michael Irvin all played at St. Thomas Aquinas. Third and two. Carroll fakes the handoff, now pitches it back to Harden. Harden with room to the 40, to the 30. Stays in bounds down at the 20-yard line. Finally wrestled down there by Ahmad Black after a 27-yard game. Hiram, 10 of 14 on field goals, 68 of 69 on PATs. And this one's blocked. Lakeland has the football right now. Blair Castle now moving right to left in the all-orange with Chris Rainey behind him. Rainey to the right. Gets a couple of blocks to the 40. Chris Rainey, goodbye. 20, 15, 10, touchdown Rainey. 73 yards. Harden next to him, Pierre-Louis in motion. Carroll, he finds Phillip. Ball is knocked out of his hands, waiting for a signal. Lakeland says they've got it. Ahmad Black knocked it loose, and it's another turn. The fumble after the catch, giving the ball back to Lakeland. They give it back to Rainey. Why not? Breaks a tackle. Fumble. Does St. Thomas Aquinas have it right back? Back-to-back -back fumbles. No harm done. Third and six. Carroll has it picked off. Intercepted. It's Colin Quinn, the linebacker, and another turnover, scotching another St. Thomas Aquinas drive. 31-yard return for Colin Quinn. And the big guys up front trying to give it to one of their deep backs, Taylor, and give him some more points. Still waiting for a call. Is it a touchdown? One referee says it is. One official signals touchdown, and they're going to give it a touchdown. Second and long has got to be very careful right here. They need 14. They fake the handoff again. Carroll keeps it. This time it's complete. And knocked out of bounds is Kyle Johnson, the senior receiver. But i got to believe it's four down territory in this football game. Here's Carroll. Fakes the handoff. Looks to throw. Keeps it. Fumbles it. Ball is loose. If this is another turnover, boy, George Smith's going to be pulling his hair out. And Lakeland's got the football. And get seven points on this series. Under three minutes in the third. Harden up the middle. Breaks tackle. Stays on his feet. Second effort inside the ten. Down to the seven. First and goal from the seven. Harden in the back, takes the handoff. Another fumble, the ball is loose. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? To your backs, they're blocking well and they're running well. Steve Wilkes jarred the ball loose. That is the fifth turnover of the game. Can Chris Rainey make the pay right away? Down the right sideline he goes. One man to beat. Down at the 30, he may have stepped out of bounds earlier. Get down to about the five for a first down. Second, and we'll call it a long 17, a short 18. They'll give it to Rainey on the left. Rainey coughs it up. The fumble straight into the hands of Jeffrey Fuller, the St. Thomas Aquinas linebacker.
And finally, the Raiders get a break. The question is, do they have enough time? They're going to go for it on fourth and one. Carroll takes the snap. Back to pass. There he is, Hankerson, all alone to the right side. A first down and more inside the 25 for the Raiders. Carroll to the left. Eludes one, eludes two. Floats it to Pierre Lewis, who's inside the 10. Knocked out of bounds at about the seven-yard line. 6-12 to go, third and goal. The give is to Harden, and Harden is in the end zone. With 6.07 left in the game, St. Thomas Aquinas puts its first points on the board to make it 21-6. Talking about one of the biggest classifications, if not one of the best, in all of the state of Florida. They fake it to Rainey. It's an end around to Wilson, and Paul Wilson is into the end zone. Off, but off they go. Wesley Carroll with the handoff. Gets it to Harden. Harden breaks a tackle to the 50. Harden to the 40, to the 30, to the 20. Goodbye. How about this? How about St. Thomas Aquinas with a 72-yard touchdown run for Jeremiah Harden, cutting the lead in half? Six teams have done it in this state. Castle takes the snap, gives it to Rainey. Rainey waits for his blockers, picks his way to the right, looking for some running room. He's got it. Can he get to the edge? To the 30, 20, 10, 5. Chris Rainey again. 55 yards, and Chris Rainey is putting on a show tonight in Miami. Rushing yards by an individual player in a state championship game, it's within sight. I'll get you to that in a second. Picked up at the 35, down to the 40. This is Pierre Lewis. No way. No way. This game has been so wacky, I probably shouldn't be surprised. Here we go, fourth down. This is where it all comes together, if it's going to come together at all. Carroll's got some room down to the end zone. Is he in? Touchdown is the call. Third onside kick of the quarter. They go for the bounce. He gets the bounce he needs. It's tipped. Who's got it? Ball is still loose. St. Thomas Aquinas says they have it. That ball was loose for an eternity. Let the officials sort it out. First down and 10, St. Thomas Aquinas with a minute 47 to play and a two touchdown deficit. A minute 44 left, second and 10, Carroll back. Gets some pressure, trying to get away. Throws, has a receiver. It's Hankerson, Hankerson stays in bounds. Touchdown. Oh my! Touchdown Raiders! A 37 yard pitch and catch. Stepped out of bounds at the three and a half yard line. Oh my goodness. In our defense though, they signaled touchdown initially. The give is to Harden and they'll signal touchdown again. I'm gonna keep quiet for a moment to make sure this one's correct. Thomas Aquinas, one more onside kick. He gets the hop again. Oh my, it's still on the ground. It's live, it's live. They did it again. Raiders did it again. I cannot believe what I am watching tonight in Miami. Or they can run the clock out. They scored 28 points in the quarter. Up top for Hankerson in the corner. Touchdown! Touchdown, St. Thomas Aquinas! Touchdown, St. Thomas Aquinas! Now Byram with a lengthy extra point to tie the game at 35. He got it! 35 points in the fourth quarter. Do you believe it? Two backs. Carroll keeps it, looks to pitch it, gets it outside. It's Harden. It's a touchdown. Jeremiah Harden, who's been a workhorse. 28 unanswered now for St. Thomas Aquinas. Taylor will go back in. The give is to Taylor. Taylor with a second effort. Did he make it? Yes, he did. Great effort by Taylor. We're a little cautious on the call now, but you're right. That was a great effort by Jamar Taylor. Gary, the senior. And this one's good. And I'll tell you what, the kicking game has been very good for both of these teams all night long. Third down. Man in motion is Hankerson to the right. Carroll goes to the right, throws to Hankerson. It's caught. They're trying to wrap him up. Did he make it in? 
pushed out at the one-yard line. The kicking unit is not out there. St. Thomas Aquinas, are they going to snap it or try to bring Lakeland off sides? They're going to snap it. They give it off to Harden. Did he get in? There's still no it signal. Is. There's still no oh. signal. No touchdown. Unbelievable. He didn't make it. Lakeland has just won the state championship.